In today's video, you're going to learn everything you need to know regarding the use callback hook within React. We're first going to talk about what this kind of use callback hook is, how it works, and then we'll get into some of examples and use cases of kind of where this hook would be useful to you. So first off, what is use callback? Well, it's a hook in React that allows you to memoize a function. And memoization is an optimization technique used in programming that allows you to kind of speed up your programs by storing the return value of certain functions depending on the inputs. So if a function takes inputs A and B, well, what memoization would do is like, okay, let's store these inputs A and B and also the return value corresponding to these inputs. And then if we call this function again with these very same inputs, just return that return value. Don't rerun the function all over again. So it's an optimization technique in which when you call a function with the same inputs multiple times, it only needs to make that calculation or run the entire function the first time, and then it stores that result. And then any other time you call that function with those inputs, it will just return that kind of stored or cached value instead of rerunning the function all over again. And in React, when you use the use callback hook, you can kind of use this memoization technique for functions. And the kind of practical implications of this within React is you can prevent a function from reinitializing because by default, if you have some function that you're creating within a React component, well, that function is going to be reinitialized on every single re-render. And this can potentially cause issues in React if say you need to pass that function as a prop to a child, well, a child component is gonna re-render anytime their props change. So if you reinitialize a function in a parent component on every re-render, well, that's gonna re-render the child on every re-render. And you might be thinking, well, doesn't a child re-render anyways if a parent re-renders? Yes, however, you could use the kind of memo function within React and memoize the ch child in which you can make it only re-render when the props or state change of that specific child, but it wouldn't solve kind of the problem of re-rendering when that function reinitializes. Also, you might need to put a function in a dependency array or something like that of the use effect hook. And when you put that function in the dependency array, well, if you reinitialize that function on every re-render of your component, well, the dependency array is gonna view that function as having a completely new value it's not going to have the same reference as it did previously because you reinitialized that function. So by using this use callback hook, you can prevent functions from reinitializing and you can have a function maintain its kind of a reference value across component re-renders, which can be helpful in those situations I mentioned of passing function, functions as props and helping you prevent re-renders. And also if you have a dependency array that you need to put your function in or something like that, okay? Now, how does the use callback hook work? Well, if you're familiar with some of the other hooks in React, I think this will come fairly easy to you because it kind of uses some of the same principles as like say the use effect hook and the dependency array there. So in this like little example here, and I'll show you a full example here in a second, what you do is first you import use callback from React and then use callback here, it's going to take two arguments. The first is going to be the function that you want to memoize. So in this example, I first pass it this function here, this anonymous inline function, and this is what I want to memoize here. And all this function does, it's, you know, just for the sake of example, it just takes A plus B. So the first argument to use callback is a function you want to memoize. And the second argument to use callback is a dependency array. So what this dependency array is, is it's gonna tell use callback to, okay, I only want you to reinitialize this function here when these inputs change or when these values of my dependency array change. So you're gonna want your dependency array to be anything that your memoized function here, your first argument, anything that that is dependent on or anything that that function relies on. So in this example, for this function to work, it kind of relies on the values A and B. So in my dependency array, I place the values A and B in there. Now, if your function 
for whatever reason didn't depend on anything, you could just use a empty dependency array like so, all right? So the use callback hook here, it's gonna return a memoized function that only reinitializes when something in the dependency array changes. And the use callback hook takes two arguments. The first is the function that you want to memoize, and the second is an array of values that your function that you pass as a first argument depends on. And use callback will return a memoized function that will only reinitialize when a value of your dependency array changes. Okay, so let me show you an example of when you might use this. And I talked about this a little bit earlier. When you're gonna want to use use callback is anytime you're worried about referential equality of a function, or you want to maintain a function's kind of equality across component re-renders. And you want that function to have the same reference in memory across re-renders, and you want to prevent that function from reinitializing on every re-render. So this could be times to where you need to put a function in a use effect kind of dependency array, or when you're passing a function as a prop, you don't want it to, you know, trigger re-renders in children because children are going to re-render anytime their props change and different things like that. So to show you this example here, what I've got going on here is I just have a main app component and I am running this live in my browser. I'll show you it in a second. And I just have a count here, some state that is set up to a count, and then some state that is set up to an array of to-dos. And then I have a function within my app called increment, which just increments my count. And then I have a function that is add to-do, and that basically just adds a to-do, the string new to-do. So it's gonna create a list of to-dos here, and every to-do is just gonna be called new to-do. And then within my return statement here, I return my to-dos here, in which I set a to-dos prop to my to-dos array, and then I set my add to-do function to my add to-do function right here. And then my to-dos component, as you can imagine, that basically just renders out my to-dos here. Now, in this component, what we're gonna do is we are gonna track when this component re-renders. So I'm console logging child render. And what this is gonna do, it's just gonna console log any time my to-dos component re-renders. And then I also have just my count set up right here in which you have a button in which you can increment the count and then I display the count right here. Now, what we're gonna do here is we are gonna track when this to-dos component re-renders. So this is a child component here to my overall app component. And what you're gonna see here is we're, we're actually gonna have a little bit of a problem in which when I increment this count here, it's actually gonna trigger my to-dos component to re-render, which might not make a, a lot of sense because like, is there anything in this to-do component that is dependent on my count? Well, well, no, there's not. Like, I am not using my count whatsoever in my to-dos component. But currently as it stands, we are gonna trigger a re-render of this to-do component because when I increment my count, that's gonna re-render my app component. And then when I re-render my app component, well, I'm going to re-initialize my add to do function. And when I re-initialize this function, well, I'm passing that as a prop to my to-dos component. So what happens when your props change? It's gonna re-render this child component. So if I go to my browser here and you see a very well-styled application here, and if I open up my console and I click increment my count here, you're gonna see I am indeed rendering my child. And you see this like double console log here, that's because I'm running in development right now and React will by default render things twice or show you it twice, so that's why you're seeing it here. But that's just a small note and the main point is that when I increment my count here, you can see that I get a child render of my to-do component. Now, you might be thinking, well, doesn't a child component re-render anyways when a parent component is re-rendered? Yes, that's the default behavior of React. However, what I am doing here is I am memoizing my child component. So I'm importing memo from React and I'm memoizing it. And what this memo function does is it's gonna make sure that this child component only re-renders when its props or state change, okay? So that's why this 
example is going to work for us here is because I am making sure to memoize this to do's component here, but I will create a separate video on this memo function and where that might be particularly useful as well. But coming back to this here, how can we fix this problem of re-rendering this to do's component when I increment my count when like my to do's component has nothing to do with my count. I just keep reinitializing this function here, which passes a new function every time as a prop, and it reinitializes my to do's component. Well, as you can imagine, we can actually use the use callback hook to memoize this function and cause it to only re render when something in the dependency array changes. So now I'm changing my function here to be the return value of my use callback hook. And it's basically gonna do the same exact thing as my previous function did. It, I'm gonna pass an inline function here to my use callback hook. And I'm just going to set my to-dos by adding a new to-do with a string value of new to-do. And then in my dependency array, I'm telling use callback to say, hey, only reinitialize this function when my to-dos change. I do not care about reinitializing this function when my count changes. So if I come back to my application here and I make sure to refresh my page, when I increment my count now, you can see that I get nothing outputted to the console here. Because now that I've memoized this function, it doesn't reinitialize on every kind of component re-render, which means that I'm not passing a different function every time to props and it's maintaining referential equality across re-renders so my to-dos component is like hey we have the same props here we have the same state there's no reason for us to trigger a re-render but if i add a to-do here you can see that i do indeed get my kind of child render and i'm very glad that my to-dos worked because i did not test that before i actually rate this application but hopefully that gives you a good idea on how this use callback hook can be helpful in this situation in which you want to prevent re-renders from children components. Now, just a note here, you don't need to go around your application and add your use callback hook everywhere and just memoize all of your functions because there is going to be a cost to memoization. Like it's gonna take up some extra memory to memoize functions. And it's gonna take some extra kind of efficiency to do this memoization technique. So it's probably not the best idea to just go around and memoize and use the use callback hook for every single function that you have. And I would make sure to actually use the use callback hook when you like see a problem in your application. So if you're noticing poor performance, specifically because a child component keeps getting re-rendered when it doesn't have to, that's where you might use use callback. Or if you keep running a use effect hook because you have a function in your dependency array, okay, maybe use use callback there. But in general, React is pretty dang fast and the default behavior of React is still fast. So usually you really don't need to use this hook that much until you have a specific use case to do so. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned everything you need to know about the use callback hook and I'll see you in that next one.